Hello there. I'd like to introduce myself. I'm Ron Chino. This is Dr. Reed Pink Ron. The <laughs> <laughs> real name is Ron uh, Pick Ron. Right? Pick Ron. I call her Pick a Ron. <laughs> and she gets so mad. Like What's that all Ron. about? Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm saying that so much, I actually introduce her as Pick a Ron. Pick a Ron, yeah. Pick a Ron, yeah. Pick her own Ron. Don't expect <laughs> <laughs> We're going to be talking about a litter of puppies that were born on the ninth month, 26th day, 2018. Uh, Denise is running the video. My wife, she's going to be doing some, uh, filling in some areas where we might have left out. But uh, there's only two puppy dogs in litter, just a small litter. A female name is Bobby Sue. Bobby Sue and Danny, uh, Mama, is three. And she's a field she's, champion. She's a field champion. Mm -hmm. and, and just, an, I mean, I personally know this dog, but Jim Gingrich, just a heck of a nice dog. The sire of the, of the dam side is a dog called Boots. Uh, Boots has got a, a national field champion. He's got a heck of a title too. Get on mm -hmm. a, a Vizsla database and you can get the pedigrees more drawn out. And then the sire to these father, father to these puppies is a dog called Elvis. Now that's a woman in the name Nat. The real name of this <laughs> dog is E.T. Uh, born again, which means he's a direct son of Rebel Rouser E.T. Elvis, don't ask me where that comes from. But anyway, uh, uh, Rebel Rouser, uh, E.T. born again, of course, Rebel Rouser Hall of Fame. Uh, the semen was, uh, was trouble getting the dog bred, so we were fortunate to get a female that had five puppies, and Alvis, uh, eight years ago, and Alvis is one of the five puppies we had, and we've done really, really well. Uh, actually, his son, I uh, believe, produced a national, not national, produced a fraternity champion for Illinois. Uh, just a heck of a nice one here. Now these dogs are just a little standoffish. They haven't been on this bench or in this area here. They little haven't bench. been bench showing yet. They all yet. got microchips. <laughs> uh, we're going to be grading. We're going to be grading the how much white he may have. We're going to talk about how the body color and size, the tail. All these we grade them one, two, and three. For example, if I say one, that means it got a little spot. Two, it's got a little bigger spot. Three, it's got a big spot. Uh, in this case here, uh, the amount of white was zero. Uh, body color. Now we're looking at the color of the dog. We're grading one, two, or three. Three, three is a one. I mean, three is real dark. And except she's 2.5. She's really dark. Got a nice color. Uh, nice mm -hmm. color to them. She's, a, uh, what are you she's an average in size. Yeah, she's just cute. Average in size, and she's got a great three tail. Beautiful tail. There she goes. Now okay. she's a bench yeah, dog. There she's she goes. <laughs> she's a bench yeah. dog. Seven, eight, <laughs> energy level. We like to be right there. This dog's closer to seven. Yeah. Uh, this a dog, this pedigree you got with this dog, you can do whatever you wish with it. It just got national champions on both sides of it. Hey, just a heck of a nice hey, little boy. Uh, all right, let's get chip number uh, 9678. It was a female. If you just looked at, no white, uh, 2.5 in color, 3 in, uh, I'm sorry, 2 in size, 3 in tail, 7 8 energy level, closer to the, to the 7. All right, now, microchip, 2893. This would be a male. Uh, you can see on him that he's extremely dark. Uh, look how dark he is. He doesn't want to stand yeah. up and look pretty. Yeah. <laughs> That'd be pretty. I want to get down and play with the other one. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> she does have what we call fading white. He does. That's called fading white on him. Uh, we call that 1.5 in, in color. A little bit of color on the toes. A little bit of color on, on the, uh, white on the toes. Mm -hmm. All this is permissible. Uh, this dog is nothing. This dog can be in any event there is. There's nothing yeah. that would keep this dog. That from is legal white. Print. That is legal white. And right. plus, the camera makes the highlights. It pulls it out because white is white and cameras are cameras. But um, in just looking at the naked eye, it's a very faded, what we call a faded white spot. You probably this lose a, a lot darker, of it as he gets older. Yeah, a little bit darker in color. I got this as a grade three. Extremely, I'd have a grade three plus. This is extremely dark. Look at the sides. How dark this puppy is. This is going to be a good looking dog. Mm -hmm. uh, got three inside, just a little bit bigger than that last one. Again, this dog we're lucky to be weighing about 50 to 55 at the most. I was uh, uh, We got uh, like a little bit bigger than the other grade three in size, and then a three in tail, six, seven energy level. Uh, now, the size and all the colors compared to the other litter mate. Now, in this case, both of these dogs uh, on a lot of litter can be considered three because they are extremely dark. The energy levels we're going to be talking about, I'm going to show you a little bit about them. 
don't try to judge them and thinking when you get down there, oh, that one looks like they may have a little bit more energy than the other one. Bottom line, we start doing this when they're about five weeks old. We continue to do it, we make us, then we average it out where we're at. Uh, we like to be between that six to eight range uh, for, for house pets, for runners, and for uh, hunters, wood hunters. Uh, if we're going to go field trialing, then we usually try to get them in a nine, eight range. I'm mean, sorry, nine, ten range. But, uh, but these dogs make great pets, great hunting dogs, uh, great running dogs. Uh, like I said, they both got impeccable pedigrees and they're both from microchips. Mm -hmm. All right, let's play with them on the ground a little bit, all right? Okay, Irene's going to get the toys and show you how they this, interact uh, with each other. This is a new area right here, uh, with Shown, and all these dogs are quarantined. But, you know, yeah. just a little bit, we just brought them here. She plays in the other room, like with this bird. She does that in the other room, but not so much out here. And, and it's just all new smells to them. You know, of course, this is why these dogs, uh, you know, can smell them birds. Mm -hmm. You see how they want to jump into the play. They want to do what Irene's doing. That shows trainability, ability to get, uh, you know, instructions across to them because they want to. They want to please you. They want. They want to be a part of the family here. And so these guys, and then you can also tell who's been in the lead just about every time that bird flips around, that little pink collar, she's right there. She likes that toy. <laughs> as far as a little bit higher energy level on the female. Mm-hmm. Uh, and and uh, the male, we got not much, but this little, we're really cutting hairs right now, splitting hairs. Mm -hmm. Both of these, like I said, I like to the six, eight range. I got the one, seven, eight, close to seven. The other one, six, seven, close to six. Mm -hmm. If you got any questions, please give us a ring. And notice that they uh, they want to dive right into Irene's lap. That, that uh, when the play is done and everything, man, they are ready for loving that Velcro personality, that sweet that sweet puppy, beast puppy. lap. And uh, that's what you'll find with them. And a lot of that depends on the mama. The mama, this litter, Bobby Sue, is very sweet, very attentive to her puppies, loving to her puppies. When you got a sweet mom, you got sweet kids, just like in the human world. They were actually and, uh, born on the ninth month, 26th day. Mm -hmm. They are eight weeks old now. Mm -hmm. It'd be nine weeks to where you take them home on the 28th of mm -hmm. 11th month, 28th, give them a take a day or two. Mm -hmm. But yeah. as far as uh, impeccable pedigree, if you look it up like the really, look on the Vizsla database, mm -hmm. it really gets into details. Yeah. Uh, but this is what we've done. All the hips of the females and males have all been tested. We don't have any mm -hmm. grow or good mm -hmm. uh, on our on our breeding females, mm -hmm. and, and you know, both the time they're excellent. Mm -hmm. So uh, you have to believe is excellent. Yeah. So you got any questions? Give us a call and let us know that you're happy with your puppy, and we'll start talking about arrangements and getting these little guys home to you. Take care. Thank you for watching.